animal children. Lemonade, lemonade, the bold monkey cried. It's only five cents, and it's cooling beside. Miss Camel just sniffed and tossed high her head. I drink only every nine days, sir, she said. Milk or meat or leather for shoes, almost anything that we choose, we'll find the good cow gives with joy to every nice little girl or boy. I wonder where the names come from. I'm sure that you do too. For instance, there's the animal that's been called the new. His race is just as strange too, for no one seems to know just what he is, an antelope, horse, bull or buffalo. Big Moose came boldly from behind the tall trees and said in loud voice, Who called, if you please? I'm ready to meet anyone who says fight, but we'll come in the open and do the thing right. I'm not sure I'd care to meet this big horn goat upon the street. Not when his eyes and smile and air just seem to shout, Come, if you dare. Brave soldier Ibex stalks before the mountain fortress high and watches eagerly to note a stranger passing by. Who's there, he calls, and to his friends he whistles the alarm and off they go to mountain tops where they are safe from harm. The chamois lives in the mountains high. He's ever and ever and ever so spry. He leaps and he plays with never a fall. I'm sure that you never could do that at all. Billy Goat and Nanny Goat went out one day to tea. They promised Mother Goat they'd be good as they could be. But on the way they passed some goats who cried, Oh, see the dude! And then they had to go back home for Billy got real rude. Her coat is soft as velvet, of a lovely yellow brown, with a bit of fawn for trimming and a lining white as down. Her eyes are large and kindly, she is gentle too as well. You would love a little playmate as sweet as Miss Gazelle. A sturdy young American is Rocky Mountain Goat, with big strong horns upon his head and shaggy furry coat. He loves to scramble over rocks or leap a mountain brook, and should you chase him, he will fly into his hidden nook. (laughs) 